Commonwealth Dreams from recreation master, innovative genius and all-round superstar Monocle Robot is a new release available on PlayStation within the software Dreams and it's a delightful and unique simulator featuring a sport that I think generally deserves a lot more praise. Made in their spare time over the course of just eight weeks and also as a little surprise gift for my birthday, Monocle Robots really put their heart and soul into painstakingly recreating my own real-life bowling club based on seeing some of the videos on this channel, as well as accurately recreating the mechanics, feel and atmosphere of the sport itself. It's so mind-blowing to me, even now after years of experience with Dreams, that people can recreate real spaces so amazingly well, even just based off of a little bit of video footage from a place they've never even been to. The gameplay is simple enough as you just choose a direction and then choose your weight with the objective of having your balls be the ones that end up closest to the little white ball called a jet. At first, this may seem simple as you just try to find the right trajectory towards it, but as with the sport itself, a variety of factors come into play, such as your weight affecting how much the ball curves, other balls blocking your way, perhaps requiring you to choose a different angle of approach, or indeed to knock them away, and there are even different balls available to choose from as well as some RNG that changes between different opponents. There really is a substantial amount of gameplay here as well as you work your way through an entire bowling season in order to try and get a playable all-star to the common wealth games. Matches are won on a first to score 21 points basis and a single match here can last for up to an hour or more depending on how close it is and you even have a full season of matches to get through each with different AI opponents and even set in some different environments. Luckily you can save the game after each end allowing you to casually play at your own pace. If only you could do that after each end in real life eh? I'd be safe scumming all the time. Some real life organisations even get a shout out, with the Edinburgh Bowling Association and Bowls Scotland both getting a nod. There's even a great accessibility mode. The physics are impressive, as each bowl rolls over on its bias upon stopping, and clattering balls into each other really works the way it should. Getting a toucher and moving the position of the jack also comes into play to change up the situation, and it all just works. Of course, nothing can replace the feel of being outdoors in the sunshine, but this really is just as serene an experience as the real life thing, as the minimalist sound design and slow pace lead to a real cosy game experience. You can even play it in local multiplayer with a friend on your couch while you have a few drinks and a chat. I'm really very humbled and even a little bit embarrassed, but in the good way that Monocle Robot would take so much influence and put so much time into such a cool project just based on something I've been doing in real life to follow my own little passion. It's really incredible. I've been a big fan of them for a long time and it's really such a lovely thing. If you find yourself watching this and you're interested in the real sport, then that's awesome. Like, honestly, I think you should give it a go. There probably is a club local to you and there are a few things in life as satisfying as when you see your ball, just go up and give the jack a little kissing toucher. If your local club is anything like the clubs that I've encountered in real life, they'll be more than happy to have you along, teach you how to play and even provide you with everything you need. It's worth trying just for a day. Unfortunately though, it is a summer thing and we're now into winter. So you'll have to make do with Commonwealth Dreams for now.